So what's the best number of days to train a week? Is it okay to train six days a week? Is it okay to train seven days a week? And this is one of my most frequently asked questions. And the reason for this is obviously because people who follow me know that I train every single day of the week. Like I train, I think for the past year, I haven't taken a day off the gym. But with that, I will take a week off whenever I find that I need it. So understand that for me personally, I'm not overtraining. I don't experience any of the symptoms. So that's okay for me to do. And this is the problem in the fitness industry. This is the biggest problem that nearly every single person tries to fit everyone into one category. As in, this is the only way that you can build muscle or this is what's best for you as a person. The most important thing that you can do is is figure out what works for you in anything in the fitness lifestyle. So as far as it goes with the best amount of days to train, well, you need to figure out what's the max that you can do. Stop trying to do what's easiest. If you are doing what's the easiest, that you, if you're doing whatever makes it easy for you, then you're going to get little results. Not the, as, as, as it goes for anything in life, hard work always pays off. It always fucking pays off. You ask anyone who's achieved something successful in any area, you ask them how did they get it, they're going to fucking tell you it was hard work and it was a lot of sacrifice. So if you're trying to build the best physique that you can possibly build, well then you're going to have to do as much as you can possibly do, which means you need to go, say overtraining is just a level, like say right here is overtraining, and if you go above it, then you're putting yourself, it's, you're going to, above it is basically where you're injuring yourself and you're actually decreasing the amount of results that you get and underneath it is basically safety and the easier and easier and easier it gets. If you set yourself here so far under overtraining and you, and you have a simple workout, you're going to get low results. So the way I like to train is, as I try to set myself up as close as I can to that point of putting myself at risk of injury and overtraining so that I can pre push my muscles to the point that they have to fucking grow. That's what it is. That's, that's my intention. Any single training, any time that I go to the gym, my intention is to push myself until I cannot push my body any further. Whenever I work out a muscle, from the start of the workout, the muscle is fresh, and at the end of the workout, that I can't actually feel the workout any more in that muscle. That lets me know that I've pushed it, and I've hit every single muscle fiber in that muscle, so that every single part of it's going to grow, and I'm going to have a balanced physique. So as far as how many times a week can you train, it's how, ma how much can you push yourself without getting injured, without actually damaging your body. And with that, you're gonna figure out what it is. So you need to experiment and stop aiming so fucking low. If you are training three times a week, then you're gonna fucking fall behind. If you are training three times a week, what the fuck have you achieved? And if it's nothing and you need to start increasing it, and I would say six days is going to be probably the best for most people. Most people underestimate the human body so much. The human body is capable of so many things. Stop having such limiting beliefs. Start believing in yourself and stop become fucking fearless. Don't be afraid because someone else said something. Whenever I was younger, if I hadn't been afraid that weight stunted growth, then I wouldn't have started lifting at 14 and I wouldn't be this person standing in front of this camera today. But I didn't listen to those people. I stayed in tune with my body and I told myself that I'm going to grow to the height that I'm supposed to be. And I've grown so many inches beyond what that tiny five foot two person was. So what you need to do is be fearless, be focused, and be smart, so w figure out what works for you. If you find that you're the type of person that if you do train, say you have experimented and you notice that training six times a week, you just can't do it, and training four times a week is your absolute max, and that you find that you can hardly train to failure, well, if you're that type of person, the advice that I would give to you is, and say you're someone who just sort of, you're very stressed and you find it so difficult. And you just, you want to be able to push yourself so much, but you find that it's very difficult to, with too much of this volume, too much of this frequency that all these people are recommending you. Well, I would advise you to do a day on and a day off split. So if you do legs, chest, back, shoulders, arms, I advise you to do, le so you do, say you do legs, chest, back, shoulders, arms, well, train your legs, then the next day, take that day off. Then the next day, train your chest and then take the next day off. 
And with that, you'll give yourself so much recovery. But what you need to do on that first day that you train, say that leg day, your intention is to put as much volume into that workout that you possibly can, as much intensity that you can give, and progress as much as you possibly can. And with that, you'll be able to get that recovery that you feel that you need, but you're always able to go 100% on point every single time. But I think the most important thing that you can do, which is right now, is experiment with your training and aim higher so you have that experience. Too many people haven't trained, haven't experienced overtraining, so they don't even know what the fuck they're hiding from. Face that problem. If you face it head on, then you're going to know what it is and then tailor it from there. So if you find that overtraining is right here, then just start to move it back the slightest bit. And that could be the difference. Success is a matter of fucking inches. It's the tiniest changes that make the biggest impact. So there you fucking have it. Then the best number of weeks to train. I don't see why it isn't every single day. You know, in the wild, people are going to be hunting every fucking day. I'm fucking hunting for these gains. I'm going to train every fucking day. And I don't see why you shouldn't unless your body limits you. And that's the only way you're going to find out. If you can't train seven days a week, if you find that your lower back gets tight, your shoulders get really sore, you get such pain in your rotator cuff, well, then you need to scale your workouts back and you're going to figure out what works for you. But the only way to experience this is to do what you're fearing. So it's to experience overtraining or it's to experience that point of pain that you don't want to experience. I don't mean injury, but I mean pushing the muscle until the point that it's begging you to stop and you train it so far that you force it to fucking grow. And that's how it fucking happens. So the best number of days a week is for you to figure out for yourself. But if you don't know what it is, then train six days a week and take one day off. And if you're advanced, train every fucking day and start to grow a set of balls. There you fucking have it.